Hi, John Lord here, and you're looking at a Dell Inspiron 2650 laptop. This is going to be the memory upgrade of the hard memory slot to get to. Now, I'm not exactly sure you'll be able to see this on screen, but I'm going to show you the current installed memory of this system. My computer, right click, properties. You can see right there it says 384 megabytes of RAM. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and shut this down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install RAM in the hidden RAM slot that is underneath the keyboard and I'm going to do it in the 10 minutes allotted on YouTube. First thing you got to do, unplug it. Second thing you got to do, remove the battery. This is for safety's sake. Battery's removed. Okay. There's actually only a couple of screws you have to remove on this. These are the hinge clamps. Got a little screwdriver. Only got two screws in them. This model only came with. 128 mega RAM in it and I want to put the full 512 in it. The bottom slot was empty but the top one is, already has a card in it so what I have to do is take out the top card and replace it. The top card is hard to get to. This panel start on this side right here peeling comes right off now underneath that panel are four screws for the keyboard one two three Four. Now I wanted to add, go to crucial.com to find out what memory your laptop takes before you do all this. You might end up ordering the wrong stuff otherwise. Crucial has a uh, laptop thing on there that tells you step by step exactly how much your laptop can support as well as the exact chip. Now this little plug right here is for the keyboard. It pulls right out. Now here's the part why I don't do it exactly according to the correct way. You should disassemble about half the bottom case too, but in fact all you really have to do is take a screw out right here. Take a screw out right here. Now that I have that screw out, I can actually take this panel and swing it up and it'll bend a little bit. But there's the memory slot. As you can see it's already got a chip in it single-sided 128 megabytes it's not big enough this is the new one I just got it in the mail today and it's a 256 plugs in in exactly the same spot as the old one follow the slot make sure you plug it in the same way it's in there push it till it locks hold this back down these tabs underneath the front cover again and I should have left my area a little cleaner so I could keep track of my screws and stuff but this is the only part hard part of the entire setup is lining this plug back up again Pulls out easy and it goes back in. It's a little more difficult. Now this isn't actually the first. I got more than one of these, so I have a little bit of experience doing this. It's just you gotta get it just right. It's 
So you got better lighting than I have too. Dang it. I should edit for content when I'm done. I'm gonna end up swearing at it. Finally, all right. Finally got that back in position. Now for the reassembly process. The one screw on the inside. Put the keyboard back in place. Got to push this down first so it'll actually go back in place. It, be it bends a little bit when you fold it up. Not really an issue, but... Now for the four screws that hold this keyboard in place. And by the way, a magnetic screwdriver really helps when you do something like this. It's almost impossible to lose the screws when they're stuck to the screwdriver. And the fourth one. Now we gotta do is lay this decorative cover cover back in place. Snap it. I'll go ahead and put the screws back in that later. The battery back in, plug it back in. Now, with any luck, we'll boot back into Windows and it'll say the new amount of memory of 512. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot into BIOS this time. Yep, there it is system memory 512. Let's see if you can get a better view of that. megabyte video memory. Well, there you have it. Uh, this, what's interesting to note about this build is that uh, some websites claim that the the memory slot that I just replaced isn't actually there. They claim that the chips are soldered to the motherboard, but as you can see, that's not the case. And I, I have demonstrated that. And most laptops, it is easily something that the owner can upgrade themselves without having to spend 80 to 100 bucks for a tech to do it. Happy computing, stay streaming, and John Lord signing off.